Hey, what's up? I'm Scott Lindsay with the 1969s, and uh, I'd like to pass this on to you guys. This is a, a pretty cool stomp box that I made uh, for doing some solo shows and different things, uh, playing the blues. And uh, this is a, I found a video on YouTube, and it's a uh, Ted Crocker, uh, he's in his garage, and these guys, they made these uh, stomp boxes. And uh, I thought it was a pretty, pretty novel idea. They, uh, they use a bass pickup. And the way that this actually uh, is, is made is it's basically just a box, a license plate on top, which is metal, of course. And under this is a, uh, I put two bass pickups in there, just like a normal. So this is basically a bass guitar, of course, with no strings. And the metal plate here is the actual strings. It's got a, a tone knob and a volume knob, and of course my jack here. You can run this into a, 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 a like an equalizer pedal and get different tones if you want as well. Um, but it is very cheap to make this, and it has a really cool sound. I uh, bought one of these here. This is the uh, the Thunder Stomp Box, which uh, you can go to thunderstompbox.com. And they sell these, and they're they're kind of actually expensive for what they are. I mean, I understand that they're they're really you know they're hard. It's very very hard, and uh, but you have this little center place here, so you kind of hit here. Um, it's it, it's a cool thing, but it, it's it's uh, it doesn't have the sound that I'm, I'm really looking for. You know, because if you look at, at the old blues players and things with those old stomp boxes that they had, they they have a good lively thump to them, you know, it mimics a kick drum, of course, but it just has a little more life to it. This sounds almost like an electronic type uh, kick drum if, if I were using something like that, whereas uh, this, I call this my pop box because my father and I made it, my pop, and uh, it, it uh, just Thanksgiving, we went out to his shop, and, you know, like I said, I saw that video, and uh, we cut up the wood, measured it out, which I have all the measurements and everything for you guys. Um, we measured it all out, already had the, everything wired up, so again, a volume pot, a tone pot, uh, input jack, and there are two pickups just, just right under this, this uh, plate here. And it has a really life, just a really good um, uh, sound to it, and uh, uh, I'm very pleased with this one. And I, I haven't really used this one live at all, I would mainly use this one. Um, it just it has a little more life to it, especially because it's got the uh, the Clarksdale, Mississippi area license plate. It's, it's 1976. I would have much rather have a 1969 plate, but you know um, it's still Clarksdale. Maybe Muddy Waters was driving this plate around at some point, um, but very inexpensive to make. As you'll see, I, I show you all the stuff that you need. Um, uh, so if, if you really want a good good sounding uh, stomp box. There you go. All right, you need a six inch by 12 inch piece of plywood, two six inch two by fours that are cut. You need two nine inch boards that are cut. This board here you can see, got a, a volume pot, a tone pot, and a guitar jack with uh, two bass pickups ready for wiring. And we've got this piece here that's gonna be inside with a pickup on top, top of it that measures two and three quarters by three and three sixteenths by two and a quarter high. Need eight stove bolts. And to top it off, a good license plate. And this is what it looks like kind of pieced together. Inside of it there with the pots, pickups, face down right now of course. They'll be screwed in there, screws there. And of course the license plate goes on top.